All right, what's on the agenda for tonight is, uh, it looks like at one time there was a battery tray here. I see four holes. So, and the battery cables reach. So, I'm gonna build a battery tray. I'm gonna use the existing holes, even though it's a little further away than I'd like, but uh, I don't wanna drill a bunch of holes in the top. So, I'm gonna build a battery tray out of scrap material. I have uh, this right here that's for holding a 55 gallon drum. I don't want a 55 gallon drum in here, so I'm gonna cut this up and use it to make the battery tray. All right, well, I got the angle iron cut up. As you can see, it's what's left of it. And I cut it all to length in the band saw. I made it a half inch wider and longer than the battery's gonna be. And uh, I'm gonna put the angle on the inside for the two pieces here, and I'll put a piece of plywood inside. That way the batteries, or the plywood's not sitting directly on the fiberglass top. And then this will give me something to bolt to on all edges. I got this welder from Blue Line Landworks. Um, haven't paid him for it yet, but uh, got that. And then a box of rods, so 7018. I'm not the best welder, but um, in fact, it's been a while since I ran 7018. I ran 6011 not too long ago. Um, but I got it on DC plus at 115 amps. It might be a little hot. And, uh, well, let's try to run a bead with it and then uh, show you guys how it looks. All right. Well, I definitely got some practicing to do on it. The welder itself works great. It's got long leads, too. Um, I got to grind it out. But, you know, it's uh, all welded up. It's a little bit more flat than the camera makes it look. There you go. So all four corners are done. Now I'll cut a piece of plywood for it and... Got a little bit more welding to do. Well, there she is all smoking. I just uh, put two tacks here, welded it down the base, both sides. I just tacked it. I wanted some more water to go, let water run out. The bottom down there, kind of dirty, but anyways, because this is hollow, I wanted you know, rainwater to be able to have somewhere to escape. So now, what will happen is the battery will set here, and then right, be right between here, I'm gonna cut this with another piece of scrap metal, and it'll go over the top and hinge, and that way you can bolt the battery down. Just more scrap metal. So off camera, I went and drilled all all four holes in the drill press and then I drilled both holes there this one's larger this one's just about three eighths and this one's quarter um, now I'll go ahead and put this in there I can't do it with one hand but uh, you know where it lines up there I'll mark mark the holes and drill it so um, and then if you're wondering why it's got so much slop there, I, I made it with a little extra clearance knowing that it had to have room for for this. So get the holes marked and drilled and get it bolted together. Drilled the holes. I got the quarter inch hole on this end, three eighths hole on the other. Originally I was gonna put like a padlock in here, but I think that might be a little bit too, too uh, too wide so I might just put a bolt in there um, so now I'll go over here to my my mess here I dump freaking golly probably at least a quart of um, hydraulic fluid those are all full of hydraulic oil but now I'll go in my nut and bolt bin here quarter so we can find a quarter-inch bolt that'll fit how I want it. That one will probably work right there. And then we'll grab a nylock. Right there, there's a nylock. Well, it's a little shallow. There. 
quarter inch nylock. And now nah, I don't need a wash for the back side, but then we'll go over here to 5 sixteenths. See, five, this is the best thing I ever built here is everything's numbered and organized and metrics down below. Uh, 5 sixteenths will probably want the same length. And we can go with an eye lock. And we'll go, yeah, that should work. Let's go put it together, I guess. Well, I decided to throw a wing nut on this side to be able to take, the, take it on and off. And the nylock with the washers on that side. So that battery is not coming out of there, which is cool. Can't touch anything either way. Can't slide around. Fits in there very nicely with about a you know quarter inch. So, and then to take the battery out, you just probably could go with a little shorter bolt. But that's what I had. I don't have every size. I got pretty much every thread, but I don't have every length. A lot of them I've used. And this this battery is for our camp trailer, but anyway. So then you can pull the move that bar out of the way and then pull the battery out so it should should work out pretty good I think I'll um, go ahead and take the battery out and clean all the stuff off this old reach which you know it's funny I'm welding and fabricating on an old reach this is for another project and I uh, will be making a video on that but anyways um, I'll get it all cleaned up and painted Okay guys, so I had a little bit of change of plans on how I wanted to mount this battery tray. Originally I wanted to run it horizontal instead of this way. Uh, but I decided this way is better because two reasons. I was able to use two of the existing holes. These are, uh, so I didn't have to drill a whole bunch of holes and make it Swiss cheese on top of this fire trailer. Um, and then also if I get down... You can see, looking up how high this trailer sits, it would be a pain in the butt if it was mounted this way. Be looking at it like this, try and take the battery up and over the top of this, would be kind of a pain in the butt. So this way, um, I just thought it'd be easier from the back of the trailer and uh, to get the battery out. So um, that, you know, just the way the the uh, um, battery cables lay it just it just looks better I had it here mocked up this way earlier and the battery kind of cables kind of kind of loop around do whatever they feel like doing um, I like this way a lot better so I guess we'll take it all out and uh, unhook everything and go set it back on that metal reach and and paint it and let it dry for a few days so one thing I wanted to say is I buy this paint, it's like 98 cents at Walmart. For projects like this, it's it's great. I mean, I wouldn't want to paint, you know, things that you expect to have a really high quality paint job on. But for what this thing is, you know, um, like you see, it's it's thinner. You gotta go over it with a couple coats for it to 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 really, you know, cover, but for uh, 98 cents and for random just little projects like what I'm always working on you don't have one line you know like I just every time I go to Walmart I just go and I buy some of this paint even if I don't have a project lined up because I always got something I'm working on and um, you know it's just always nice to have paint on the shelf so anyways I'll uh, bring you back to this once it's all painted and show you what it looks like okay it's done all painted black and uh, ready to be put on the fire trailer one thing I wanted to say about this reach is um, I'm still making videos on my phone I'm a little intimidated my wife bought me a GoPro for Christmas to make YouTube videos, which I'm super excited about, except for I have no idea how to use it. So, <laughs> uh, really should have probably made this little video here, you know, with the GoPro to try it out. But 
anyways, this will be a fun build, and I'm sure you guys will probably be the next next video will be that. So, talk to you guys later. Have a great week and our middle of your week. Stay safe and have fun.